video is how to install the bidet by Tushy. Me and my son spent the night installing it, and I wanted to share this video just in case you've completely run out of toilet paper like the rest of the world. I would highly recommend hanging out for the last two minutes of the video as my son takes over the entertainment portion of this process. The first step in this process is going to be to clean the toilet. None of the other videos ever mentioned. Just a heads up, we did go a little bit out of order in this installation. The first thing that I did was I removed the toilet seat and depending on the style of toilet you have that'll determine how you do this. Mine by uh, Toto is made of plastic and I just removed both sides placed it into the bathtub. part was to shut off the water going to the toilet. Shut off the valve. What's that? Next thing we did was flush the toilet a couple of times to get rid of all the water. Alright. The next thing we had to do was disconnect the water coming from the wall to the basin. Um, mine requires a little bit of an extra step because we had a sprayer from that we used to use on our uh, reusable diapers. And so it takes a little bit extra work for us to take that part off, but we got it off and uh, noticed that we had a bucket down there to actually make sure the, the water drained somewhere. That was really, really helpful. Um, again, this is an extra step that you probably won't have to take, but I wanted to show it in the video. Next step is to install the uh, cold water adapter. Wait, no, wait. I'm going to open it and see. Wait, what, wait, what step are we on? 4B, I think. 4 Make sure you do not over tighten this. Over tightening this can cause some serious problems. You can do it by hand and then just a little twist with a wrench and uh, you should be good to go. You notice here I'm barely turning it at all. The next step is to reconnect the water line to it. So here we go. One trick that will help when you are putting this in is to, once you've gripped the threads, pull down on the hose a little bit and that'll make the process just a little bit easier. Next step is to close the hot water valve. I had the water running to make sure the valve actually did close all the way. The next step is to disconnect the hot water line going to the valve. This can be tricky based upon your setup. Ours was pretty tight, so I was patient with it. I know plumbers have a special tool they use to do this sort of work, but I don't have those, so I was just using a basic wrench. The next part is to install the mini adapter for the warm water supply. This again was pretty tricky. You have to add in that washer and it tends to fall out a little bit. So make sure it's in there while you're starting to put it on there. You got this, Dad. Mm-hmm. Again, depending on your situation, this can be pretty tight. So I just want to make sure that uh, you get it all the way in there. Also remember that this isn't an arm wrestling competition. If you over tight it, that can be just as bad as keeping it loose. So take your time and watch your knuckles and uh, this will help to ensure that uh, you don't end up messing something up. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and reconnect the hot water supply to the top of the mini warm water adapter. All right. Again, it's pretty tight back here, so I have to just be a little careful. And again, I want to make sure that I do not over tighten. The next step is I want to make sure I connect the warm water hose to the adapter. I should have done this before I put it back there, but it came pre-connected, so I thought that it was already tight. My bad. The next step is to connect the metal hose that they uh, give you from the cold water adapter over to the actual Tushy device. Again, you want to make sure that you are watching uh, and make sure that you don't over tighten either of these because if you strip these out there's nothing you can do after that okay the next thing I did was to connect the cold water supply directly to the bidet itself before I actually installed it. I thought this would make the process a little bit easier and it definitely did. As long as the hose is long enough in your situation you can totally do this. 
At this point I wanted to attach the bidet to the actual toilet, then put the seat back on. This is where you actually have to align it up, and the bidet does a really good job of giving you a ton of different options for that. It wasn't really that bad to get everything lined up. Make sure you put the washer in between the bidet and the toilet seat. Okay, and then once you get that all lined up, go ahead and reinsert the screws on both of them and uh, go ahead and tighten them up. Again, this is not an arm wrestling competition. You want to put these in so it's snug and firm. Maybe a couple twists with the screwdriver while your hand's holding it down. The last thing I did was connect the hot water. Um, the first thing I did was trim down this. I just used grabbed a nice pair of scissors from my kitchen and I went ahead and snipped it. I was very careful to try to make it as clean as possible. Um, now putting this on was a little tricky. You have to put the connector on there um, before you actually add it on there. Again, twisting this on is a little bit hard, but you have to really, you could warm up the tip a little bit. They give you that recommendation. I didn't, I just forced it on there and then tightened it up okay it took me a little bit to get this on there and tight then I had my son come in and uh, he gave me a hand as you can see right here and it was a good project for us to do because at this point the basically the installation is done you can see his hands right here twisting it up and tighten it up make sure you tighten that up all the way okay he did a really good job and this was a good project for us and there you go we have a fully functional bidet and so far I got to tell you we've really enjoyed it. Uh, this was a good project for me and my son. I would highly recommend sticking around for a couple more minutes as my son did a little bit of videotaping without my knowledge as I went outside to get some tools from the garage. Where are you going? Where are you going? I have to go out to the garage. Sorry guys. Okay. We're going to give you a pause. So tell me here, pause, ladies, because the battery's almost dead, okay? Okay, my daddy. Okay, people. Okay. Marty. Come on. Okay. So, uh, have you heard of a joke? Yeah, I have. Uh, okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who? Who, who? Are you an owl? That's how it goes. It's a great one. Hey, what's... Guess what an anteater is looking for, has been looking for, for its lunch? Ants and maybe uncles. So, what's your favorite sport? Comment down the blo below. What's your favorite sport? Plus, I never knew this was wood. I always thought it was gonna be metal thingy. Oh wow! It's really hard to turn and twist. Hey, this is my dad. Ah, says Pat. 